reusable. This cup is really good. Whew. 100 pesos G cash. Hey guys, it's Joe and welcome back to my channel. We are on the second month of the year 2023 which means ngayon ay buwan na ng Pebrero and the month of February have a special place in my heart. It really is a month that matters to me because it is the love month because of Valentine's Day this coming February 14 and also February is the newly declared National Arts Month and ayun nga, bilang isa tayong self-proclaimed artist or I am into arts and February is also my birth month which means I am turning 28 this coming February 27 and also February is the month where I started my channel two years ago February 11 2021 which is today so ang ibig sabihin lang noon is I am celebrating the second anniversary of my YouTube channel and I am so grateful to you guys for supporting me for two years already and I didn't expect na abot ako ng dalawang taon and yeah since we are celebrating the second year anniversary of this channel syempre bilang pa thank you ko sa inyo I will have a little giveaway so this isn't much but I wanted to give back as my way of saying thank you sa lahat ng mga sumuporta at patuloy na sumusuporta sa channel na ito and to my vlogging journey and part of my giveaway I will give this DIY tie-dye shirt that I got from Baligya ni Joshua or BNJ so BNJ is a small business here in Iloilo City so they sell a lot of products of varieties from fashion to stationaries and so I got this and also this Mike Charlie Echo Cup so Mike Charlie is a also a local brand in Iloilo City that produces products for sustainable living so this is a echo cups and this one is made of bamboo fiber and are 100 percent composable and reusable this cup is really good this was introduced to me by my sister-in-law and also this sweet night superhero collection in iron man so we have one lucky winner na makakuha nung tatlong to and since we are celebrating uh, the second year anniversary of my channel, we will also have two winners of 100 pesos G cash. Ayan. So if you want to be part or join the giveaway, please watch until the end of the video because I will be announcing the mechanics kung paano kayo makasali sa giveaway na ito. And in this video, I will be sharing with you guys what my vlogging journey taught me. Pero bago yan, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and click the bell button para lagi kang updated like mo na rin ang video na ito and share it to your friends and follow me on my social media accounts that I'll be linking on the screen and on the description box sobrang hindi ko talaga ini-expect na aabot ng dalawang taon ng channel na ito and sobrang nagpapasalamat ako sa mga sumuporta, na mga jowa na mga nag-subscribe sa channel na to and also for those who like and follow me on my Facebook page, I am so grateful for that and it means a lot para sa akin para sa journey na to but I would also like to thank the higher being for giving me the skill, for giving me the wisdom, for me to able to create contents for you guys who are supporting me and also for the patience na ibinigay niya sa akin. Hindi madali ang pag-vlog. Marami akong natutunan and ayun na nga, I will share to you kung ano yung mga natutunan ko, mga na-realize ko, mga lessons na nakuha ko sa journey na to.
isa sa mga aral na napulot ko sa journey na ito is that to believe in the idea of slow progress is a progress. Dati kasi, I used to invalidate every little milestone, yung mga maliliit na progress na naa-achieve ko in my career, sa school, sa life itself. Kasi nga, I went so hard on myself na when I think of progress, kailangan talaga is mabilis siya or kagaya ng progress ng iba na kailangan impactful na kind of progress na parang life changing yun yung paniniwala ko or yung idea ko of progress before I started my vlogging journey and nung nagsimula ako sa paggawa ng contents dito sa YouTube I get to realize na you don't have to compare your progress to the progress of other people na I came to understand and realize na I should grow at my own pace na hindi kailangan same kami nung progress nung kakilala ko or, or same din yung pag-grow ng channel na to to other Ilonggo content creator na kilala ko. So my idea of progress, it was diverted parang it changed 360 degree but i came to appreciate every little progress that i have kasi nga iba iba yung pace ng life natin di ba iba iba yung kwento natin di ba so i came to live with the idea na slow progress is still a progress kasi the most important thing is there is a progress. The most important thing is nag-grow ka bilang tao sa career mo, sa family mo, sa life itself, sa academics. Ayan. So, you don't have to compare yourself to others. You don't have to invalidate your little progress as long as there is a progress. I also learned that not everyone around you supports you. So, not all your friends, your colleagues, your family members will support you in everything that you do. In this journey, sa dalawang taon ko sa pag-vlog, I came to encounter some of my friends na hindi nag-subscribe sa channel ko, na hindi nag-watch ng video ko, hindi nag-like ng mga contents ko. Noong una, I felt bad about it. Sobrang nasaktan ako kasi parang I questioned na ganun ba kahirap to click the link and click the subscribe button, di ba? You don't have to watch the video, you don't have to like the video. Parang I questioned that idea na ganun ba? Ganun ba kahirap gawin yun? Na I felt bad really. But then I came to realize in this journey na we cannot please everybody, di ba? Iba-iba yung preference natin, di ba? Na maybe they don't like the contents that I am making, di ba? Maybe they don't like me as Joe Infante. Even ako, I came to realize na kahit ako nga, hindi naman lahat ng kakilala ko, hindi naman lahat ng YouTubers, sino subscribe ko, nila like ko yung videos, or pinapanood ko yung video. Kasi nga, I have my own preference. And doon ko na intindihan na, Okay, I'm not gonna pressure them. I'm not gonna force them. Kasi nga, they have their own preference. Choice din naman nila yon. But, ayun nga, na-hurt ako nung simula. But then, I came to understand that. And, ayun, yun yung lesson na hindi lahat ng around you, hindi lahat na part ng circle mo, are there to support you. I'm not saying that they are bashers, but they just don't want to support. And it's okay. And I understand that. Isa rin sa mga natutunan ko is to do what truly matters to you. Alam na natin yon. Alam naman na natin kung anong ibig sabihin nun. But for context, mas na-justify ko yung idea na yon na do what truly matters to you when I came across this statement na what you do doesn't always have to make sense to others, di ba? Ginagawa mo yung mga bagay na ginagawa mo, hindi para sa iba. You don't live for their validation. You don't do that for 
their side comments, di ba? You do the things that you are doing because it matters to you. You do the things that you are doing because that what makes you happy. Yun yung natutunan ko. Kasi, I keep on doing contents. Nung una, parang iniisip ko na ka, yung friends ko will make fun of me kasi I get into this industry, yung family ko, baka ibabasha ko, or yung mga colleagues ko will you know, pull me down, baka, ayun nga, para i-criticize nila yung videos ko, yung mga pinagsasasabi ko in front of the camera. But, in the middle of the journey, sobrang na-realize ko na, why would I think of what they have to say, di ba? As long as hindi ko naman tinatapakan yung pagkatao nila, di ba? Hindi ko naman sila binababoy, di ba? I don't step on their dignity. Yun yun importante. Do what matters to you as long as wala kang may tinatapakang ibang tao, di ba? Do the things that makes you happy. Do the things that satisfies you. Do the things that fulfills you. Do the things that truly matters to you. Kasi yun din naman yung pinaka-importante na at the end of the day, ikaw at ikaw lang din naman yung responsible sa growth mo, sa happiness mo, sa satisfaction mo. Apart from the higher being, of course, you yourself are the ones responsible for your own growth. So, gawin mo yung mga bagay na gusto mong gawin matagal na and do not think of what others might say. What you do doesn't always have to make sense to others. As long as it makes sense to you, then you're good. But make sure na wala kang tinatapakang tao. This, I think, is the most cliche lesson that I have learned. I've encountered this advice many times, and I'm sure you do also. I learned that every day is a learning process. Hindi lang tayo natututo sa mga paaralan, sa schools. Right after we graduate, we get to learn a lot from the real world, right? Every day is a learning process. When you wake up, when you check your phone, may natutunan ka, di ba? When you watch videos on your phone, when you check posts from your friends on social media, there are lessons there, di ba? When you open your television, you watch series, teleseries, may aral kang makukuha doon. When you get to talk to your parents, siblings, over lunch, dinner, breakfast, they will and they will feed you with the wisdoms that they have learned from their experience and that is a lesson too. And when you get to encounter with your workmates, with your colleagues, meron kang natututunan, di ba? Every day is a learning process because lessons are just around the corner. You just have to have an open mind and open heart to take that lessons, di ba? Kasi useless din yung lesson na binibigay sa atin or yung mga lessons around us. If you don't have an open mind para i-take yun, if you don't have an open heart para i-absorb yung mga lesson na yun. And also, it is not enough to just take the lesson, to just absorb the lesson. Let that resonates you. Kasi if you resonate that goodness, if you resonate that lessons from other people, you will also inspire others. It's a domino effect. You learn from other people, you take it, you act it, they will learn from you and they will also do the same. Pay it forward as they say. So those are the life lessons, the realizations na napulot ko in my vlogging journey and sobra akong grateful sa mga tao na naging part ng journey na ito because they gave me a lot of lessons. They taught me a lot of the things na sobrang ginagamit ko sa journey na ito, sa life and in everything that I do. And I will forever keep that and treasure that. And if I am able to share it to others, I will do it. Diba? I will willingly share the lessons na mga nakuha ko from other people because it's called paying forward. It's the domino effect of the good things, di ba? Kasi when you get to share it to other people, they will share it to others. And if that's what we're gonna do, we will live in a world where negativity is no longer present. Ayan. So, sobrang salamat. Sobrang salamat sa mga sumuporta at 
patuloy na sumusuporta sa akin and thank you for all the life lessons that you guys have taught me and ayun na nga since we are celebrating the second anniversary of this channel meron tayong pag giveaway as mentioned kanina and if you guys wanna be part or join the giveaway all you have to do is to subscribe to this channel Joe Infante like and follow my Facebook page Joe Infante Vlog and I will be posting a short version of this video content on my Facebook page so make sure to share that video with the hashtag Joe Infante hashtag Joe Infante Vlog hashtag Joe Wa hashtag 2 Joe Ayan, so the deadline of your entries is on February 15, 2023 and I will be announcing the winners on my next content and that's gonna be on February 18, 2023. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much for all your love and support and for watching this video. Sobra ako grateful that you guys were there with me for two years and I hope marami pang two years na may reach na milestone ang channel na ito and my journey to content creating. Ayan, sobrang salamat and you guys take care always and see you on my next vlog.